evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Julius from Bloverheaten, and tonight we continue. Tsukikime. Mmm. Yes, yes. First of all, I would like to apologize. Uh, last stream, I noticed my layout for this was a bit different than what it was the other times, which means that the chat might have blocked some words and stuff. Uh, if that made it harder to read, I am sorry, but yes. Uh, this time it's fixed. We're back in, we're back in, in my room with the little, little Nekos. It's beautiful, it's beautiful. Okay, okay. I think, uh, I think we can get started. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Load. Oh. And we also how much we're reading, uh, probably, uh, maybe one day? Two if they're not long? We'll see, we'll see. Eyes of Death Perception 2. Hmm. Oh. oh. In those days, the mansion was a giant playground. The forest, a deep ocean. The house, a towering castle. The gardens within those grounds would have taken an uncountable number of days to fully explore. We revealed in it, we reveled in it all. Every day was fun. We didn't know anything about growing up. And the notion that we, we, we the notion that we would carry on in this way, day in, day out, was something we never questioned. It was a childhood of puppy like exuberance. We got along so well that we became inseparable playmates. Every time we looked back, Akiha was there. And whenever we waved, she would hide out of embarrassment. Yeah, that's how things always were. In those days, the mansion was a giant playground. The forest, the depot. We're doing this again? Okay. The house, a towering castle. A closed off world that would have taken an uncountable number of days to fully explore. We reveled in it all. Oh, you're ending with that. Okay. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I wake up slowly. The morning light chips away at my lingering drowsiness. As I lay there, I somehow felt as though I'd seen a nostalgic dream. <gasps> no sooner do I wake up than something unpleasant intrudes upon my field of view. A sharp headache gouges deep into the flesh and bone beneath my temple. This morning is so vivid, it's as though the sun had fallen into the garden. Its powerful rays dye the entire room. <gasps> right, my glasses. I put strength into my arm to reach for the glasses on my nightstand, but it doesn't budge. There's no feeling in my limbs. I can't will them to move at all. It seems like the only part of my body that's actually functioning is my mind. <laughs> Unable to even close my eyes, I simply let the time tick away. What the hell happened? What? <laughs> the harsh light softens. I regain feeling in my limbs. I take a deep breath and finally stifle this sight by putting on my glasses. Oh, okay, we're fine. I breathe out and lift myself up upright in bed at last. It's no big deal. I used to suffer spells like that fairly often back when I was in the hospital. A temporary det eh? a temporary deterioration in eyesight induced by exhaustion, with an accompany accompanying paralysis of my limbs. As if that wasn't enough, it also does away with my appetite. If I spend too long looking at things with my glasses off. It's a given that I'll end up paying for it like this. Hmm. I feel like I can see them more clearly than I used to. The lines on buildings are difficult to see. Even when I can make them out, they're normally quite thin. Seeing them as distinctly as I can right now is pretty unusual. The lingering remains of my headache feel just like a gunshot wound. 
Sensei said something back then. Yet it's possible my eyes could call forth something bad. Arakiri had warned me not to use my eyes too much. She said to do so would be to destroy my brain. To destroy Tonoshiki himself. This is the price I pay for getting involved with vampires as a human. The risks I'm taking aren't confined to the times I'm actually going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a vampire. I'm putting myself in danger every moment of every day. I'm not about to start second-guessing myself now. I knew what I was getting into when I decided to I wanted to help Articuit. <sighs> Besides, even if I were to bury my head in the sand, it wouldn't change the fact that I'm caught in the middle of this turmoil. We'll wipe this city clean of vampires. If I want to protect Akiha and those close to me, I have no choice but to lend Arakuid a hand. Yes. I psych myself up and leap out of bed. I'll get changed right away, and thank Hisui for last night. Are... Hey. Speaking of Hisui, she's nowhere to be found. It's past 7 o'clock in the morning. This is around the time that she'd normally be calling out to me for the, from the side of the room to wake me up. Hey. An unlikely explanation, as my school uniforms has still been neatly prepared on top of the desk. Perhaps she simply had other matters to attend to. I'm curious what, but it's none of my business. Besides, I don't have any time to spare this morning. I better change into my uniform quickly and head down to the first floor. Oh. Hello, is anyone home? Hey. Hmm. The moment I open the door. Oh, then I'll tap? Eh? Huh. I, I, I thought I'd give it an. Okay. Okay. The moment I open the door, memories of last night resurface and flash before my eyes. Amazing. I astound even myself. I really ought to get my head checked. Maybe they can work out what quirk of my m mental makeup made it possible for me to forget such a terrifying event. Though, that's only if I make it out of here alive. I stand frozen in place like a statue, and still on the door, unable to take a single step inside. Meanwhile, in the living room... Oh, they are there? As though reprising her role from last night, Akihai is sitting on the sofa. Kohaku-san is standing a little ways behind her. Normally, no matter how prickly of a mood she's in, Akiha still greets me with a good morning. Oh, with a... Good morning, Nishan. Not the car, but you know. <laughs> but today, she's acting like I'm not even here. It goes without saying that it was last night's... The reliction of my duty to explain my connection with Adequid, which has earned me this treatment. It may seem like Akihai is relaxing gracefully, but... The pressure she's exuding is no joke. The tension in the living room right now is so thick that you could cut it with a knife. Hello. Uh, yes. Well, at least one person here is unconcerned with all this. Oh, hmm? I return Kohaku-san's greeting and enter the living room. Akiha gives me a sidelong glance as I gingerly creep into the room. I'm not going to falter in the face of this silent pressure. Times like these are the true tests of one's metal. I... It... Uh-oh. Okay, uh... Wait, what's that? Give me a sec. Choices. Greet her cheerfully, greet her quietly, had better start apologizing. Uh, greet her... Cheerfully. No, we talk quietly. Start apologizing? Cheerfully? I'll shoot cheerfully. First things first, I've got to do something about this tense atmosphere. 
I feel like my usual approach isn't going to cut it here, so I'll try switching things up a bit. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> wow. Adding in some casual laughter for effect, I try greeting her frankly. It, um I don't I don't think she's a uh, um <laughs> Well on a second. Uh oh. Not good. <laughs> if anything, it seems Akiha's gaze got even sharper. What a bind. If I'm on the receiving end of much more of this silent pressure, I'm definitely gonna end up with a hole in my stomach. Oh. <laughs> I casually begin to retreat from the living room. However... Akiha's curt voice calls me to a halt. What is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> they are stern words, one that I cannot disobey. Phrases such as, you reap what you sow and a foolish brother ought to die, revolve inside my head. I guess I have no choice but to make my stand and accept my fate. Uh oh Uh oh I defeatedly take a seat on the sofa across from Akiha. Kohaku-san prepares a cup of tea for me without a moment's delay. It gives me a small amount of courage, as if she was silently telling me, hang in there. That's right. Akiha may be the family head, but she's still my younger sister. This shouldn't end up being a totally one-sided match. I take a sip of the black tea and lock my eyes with her. So oh. what's the story? No! No, I didn't! <laughs> Not good. Joking. I'm joking! Damn it, Akiha. You're not supposed to go throwing fastballs right out of the gate. I nearly choked to death on my tea. Nisa. Yes, yes, I am. <聞いてるよ>。聞いてるよ。よく聞こえてる。それでは答えてください。昨夜の女性について。できる限り誠実に。偽りなく。私を決して怒らせない範囲で。詳しく。天使。Who <笑> その条件だと何も口にすることができない。私を怒らせないでと忠告したはずですが。So <laughs> those were her warnings, not her conditions. いや、無理なんだいな匂いがプンプンしてきたな。何です声が小さくて聞こえません。もっとはっきりおっしゃってください。一体あの女の方は she, she's a good, good friend. Kind of epic. どう。友達のようなもの。というか。うん。夜中に出かけるほどのご友人なんですね。That's <laughs>兄さんが将来どなたと関係を持とうと意見する気はありませんけど。兄さんはまだ学生でしょ。遠野家の長男がその。どこの者とも分からない女性と夜な夜な合いびきをしているだろうって。そんな恥知らずなことは慎むべき
Yep. Yep. Yes, it, yes, it was. <laughs> Maybe. Akiha's gaze is cold. If I just nod yes, this conversation could end peacefully. But I feel strangely reluctant to affirm that statement. Although we both have something to gain by working together, I find it hard to say that's all there is to it. それはその親しくはないけど損得だけで手を貸してるわけじゃないというか。でしょうね。今まで見たこともないほどの慌てようでしたから。何事も真剣になってくれない兄さんが感情をあらわにするなんてどういう風の吹き回しかと疑ったほ
私だってこんなことは言いたくありません She just caring. ただあの人は嫌な感じがするんです、mm. 他の相手なら仕方がないと諦めますけれど兄さんがあの人に気を許すのならなんだか私がバカみたいじゃないですか No I don't get it How can I spoke through I spoke through pursed lips Visibly frustrated どうしたんだアキハなんかおかしいぞお前、hmm. もういいです兄さんは兄さんのなさりたいようご自由になさってください Oh. Oh. With an uncharacteristically violent stride, Akiha takes her leave of the, of the living room. What did I do? Akiha Sama got Kawai so this. Dang. We be told to let the Kuruno de Stara. Moto, Tsuno, to let the Kitang at the Kurasina. So, Sereba, Akiha Sama Mona took the Kurasata de Shoni. Kohaku-san lets out an exaggerated sigh and chases after Akiha. Mm -hmm. Interesting, interesting. She a little bit jealous. Though I also guess very caring, so... Mm -hmm. She's just worried. As soon as he sees me off as I leave the Tono residence. Akiha's dramatic exit from the living room still weighs heavy on my mind. Given that Arcuid is the root cause, even if I were to chase after her to try and explain, we'd just end up talking in circles. I feel bad for her, but until the dust has settled on this incident, I have no choice but to continue like this. I wonder if I could choose to be honest and open up about everything that I've been through. Even though there's a chance nobody will believe me, this is information that could help to keep the city safe. It's already late in the game, but I should start spreading awareness about vampires. So, that's it. One second, I forgot something. There we go. Okay. I take out my phone as I walk. Whether or not anyone will find it credible aside, I should have, I should just post everything I've learned so far in some message boards. Whether people take it seriously or not is ultimately up to them. Telling everyone to trust me in all caps would probably have the opposite effect, but if I just publish the raw information, there's a chance it could circulate as an urban legend and serve as a warning that way. It's gonna be lurking on me. Hello, Shani Kusha. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for lurking. I'll be having a wonderful day. Whoa. Uh, uh, oh, you. Mm? Mm? Someone calls out to me and I stop walking. When I turn around, I see. It, who are you? An unfamiliar man in a business suit. What mm? is I don't know. Who's asking? He's right. We're on the road in front of the Tono residence, and the only traffic it usually gets is the odd car. The only people that come through here on foot are probably me and the employees of the Tono household. So, excuse me, I am the I am the eldest son of this resident. What do you mean, a child of a servant? Get out of here, you big spaghetti. Nara lucky, da yo. Sugo lucky. Ah, ore jana kute, kimi ga ne. Oko sukai hoshiku nai? Tono ke no hito no hanashi toka, chotto shiritai in da yo ne. This dude. <laughs> I keep my distance, though I can't explain why. It's not because the man's insincere manner of speaking rubbed me the wrong way. It's more that I'm terrified by how intent he is. I get the impression that he's paying close attention to my every word, no matter how trifling. 
Careful not to miss any clues as, as to my attitude. Ah, uh, maybe. まあ、ま、ちゃんと報酬弾むよ。遠くに知りたいのは、ほら、最近帰ってきたっていう長男の話。来たばっかりで写真資料もなくてさ。あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ
、二式もお手上げ状態でさ。あの土地だって、遠野の持ち物でしょ記録だと十年くらい前に、遠野牧久が相場を上回る高額で買い取ったとある。うん。そのあたりの事情、聞きたいんだよね。なんで駅前の一等地を買っておいて、公園になんかしちゃったのかな、とか。I don't know. 俺には何とも。マキヒサは亡くなりましたので話はそれだけですかえ,えいや妹さんに取り付いてくれないのちゃんと身分と目的話したよね<笑>あいにく妹は忙しい身なのでお引き取りください話がしたいのならしかるべき手続きをしてからどうぞうんうん I turn my back and begin to follow the road down the hill I know what they're after now. I don't fully understand the situation, but I'm not about to let those shady detectives meet with Akira. Oi! Eh? What do you want, kid? The high pitched voice brings me to a halt. If it had been Detective Andos, then I would have simply ignored it, but that boy's voice commanded such authority that I found it strangely difficult to oppose. Oh! この辺りが引き際だぜ<笑>なんだって I stop in my tracks and stare at the young boy This guy say ordinary human death just now 何が言いたいんだ言いたいことは今ので全部だマヌゲこれで聞かなきゃ勝手に死んでな<笑> He knows ほら帰るぞアンドいい加減食事時だケーキ食わせろケーキチーズと蜂蜜たっぷりのやつなうんえー、へおおせのままに<笑>なんで俺日本に来てまでボンボンのおもりしてんだろうなうん。<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑>School time. Wow. My day settles back into a familiar routine. Fourth period modern society. The teacher on the podium reads aloud from a rather bland, uninspired text. I'm lucky enough to sit by the window, so, so as I calmly listen to the lecture, I take a good hard look at my own face reflected in the glass. You a narcissist? Why are you looking at your face? What? I can't concentrate at all. Not because the lesson is boring, but because I'm still struggling to get the grip to get the to get the grips with the situation I'm in. I have a nice day and good luck with the game. Thank you, Walter. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're having a wonderful day. The conflagration in front of the train station that claimed all those lives. The invasion of the city by a vampire. With those events in mind. As I sit here paying half of an as I sit here paying half an, an ear to the lecture, I turn my thoughts on myself. The most beautiful vampire man out there? Yep, yep, totally. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Needless to say, I've been acting strange. Anyone else in my position would surely have barricaded themselves in their home or fled somewhere far away by now. And yet, here I am. Going about my day as usual. It's as though I'm trying to prove to myself that vampires are no vampires. These events are merely ab abnormalities and hardly worth abandoning my daily routine over. 
Hmm. Though, if I'm being honest, it could just be down to the fact that as a student, I simply can't per I can't permit myself to skip school. I recall the conversation I had with Saiki Goto back at the mansion. If I were to put it in his words, studying is an investment in the future. It would be monumentally short-sighted to sacrifice the compound interest of tomorrow in exchange for a paltry sum of safety today. Besides, it's Tono family money that keeps me fed and watered. If I'm going to be living under their roof, then I should be sure to perform at least the bare minimum that is required of me as a student. Not out of obligation, but as a matter of honor. I wonder if such an attitude makes me servile or stubborn. It's also possible I'm simply thick-headed. Sensei once told me to become the person that you think is right. If I'm to continue to live by those words, then I must be sure to treasure each and every ordinary day that passes. I squint at the sunlight streaming through the window. Only twelve more minutes until the end of fourth period. Glasses let out after fifth period today. I think about how as soon as school ends and night falls, I'll once again be out, of, be out roaming the city, side by side with Articuit. The face reflected in the glass breaks into a smile, as though looking forward to something. I straighten my expression. It's not like I enjoy prowling around the city with Articuit all night, so what the hell am I smiling about? It what are you doing out there? <laughs> I knew I was having a hard time concentrating on the lesson, but I didn't think I was this far gone. I must be pretty out of it if I'm starting to hallucinate visions of that woman elegantly swanning across the school grounds. Wait, that's no hallucination! It being careful not to disrupt the class, or rather being careful not to let any of the other students notice what's going on, I edge a little closer to the window. Please tell me that there's just something wrong with my eyes. Oh no! Yeah, that's no illusion. Much as I'd love to pretend she's some figment of my imagination, the woman in the courtyard is anything but. Does that vampire have nothing but cotton between her ears? What should I do? What's she going to do? If I leave her to her own devices, who knows what horrors will befall the, my peaceful student life? No, calm down. Everything's okay. You don't have a problem just yet. The other students haven't noticed her, and I don't hear any commotion from the neighboring classrooms either. Fortunately, she seems to be situated such that she's only visible from this classroom at the moment. I swear to God, that woman is a destroyer. Through and through. At my wit's end, I curse her from the bottom of my heart. However, doing that doesn't solve anything. There's 20 minutes left until lunch. If I leave that airhead vampire alone, there's no telling what kind of mess she'll create. I... do my utmost to intercept her. Do my utmost to focus on my lesson, do my utmost to ignore her. I think we gotta intercept her, boys. We gotta do this, we gotta do this. Intercept. They say a soldier values swiftness. The seeds of disaster are something that should be plucked before they have a chance to take root. I'd better lure that lady in white away from the school, before she has a chance to cause any mischief. Sensei! <laughs> Even as I raise my hand to be excused, I've already left my seat and started making a beeline for the hallway. I don't have time to... I don't have time to wait for permission. Taking advantage of the brief window where everyone is too startled to react, I hastily make my escape from the classroom. Uh oh Huh? Kita, kita. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh my goodness. No. no, you should Why you... No! Strangers aren't allowed in schools. My mouth hangs wide open. 
The target I came to intercept strolled clear across the campus and has made it all the way to my in, in all the way to the inner courtyard. Thank goodness. The fact that there aren't any classrooms facing the courtyard is honestly a godsend. Yes, yes it is. Naturally, I have no time for leisurely greetings. Without stopping to explain myself, I grab Adekuit by the hand and start running. I take us around the back of the gymnasium, which is generally deserted. At this hour, having her exit through the main gate would draw too much attention. The best move here is to ask her to leave out the back. Nothing. Don't worry about it. Anakuin <laughs> seems a little peeved, but it's not like school buildings are practically interesting to begin with. そうだよ。それでも控えめな描写だよ。あのな、なんだって昼間から歩き回って、かつ俺の学校にやってきてるんだ。お前、昼間は弱くなるんだろう。傷だって治ってないよな。え、それこそ余分な気遣いだっての。協力すると言った以上、どんな作業だって一緒にやるんだから。夜まで待っててくれよ。俺を心配させて楽しいのか、お前。ごめんなさい。いや、分かってくれればいいって。悪くえど。え。だ
ちゃんと確証があったからやってきたのよ他の場所に比べてここは死者の気配がないんだものどんなものか実際に見ておかないとまずいでしょいやまずくないだろう死者の気配がないんなら関係ないってことなんだから実際学校では事件も事故も起きないし夜になると誰もいなくなる死者が人間を襲おうとしたら学校じゃなく町に出るだろう that's true, that's true. まあそういえばそうだけどここに異常なんかないよ吸血鬼の気配はわからないけど俺だって死を見る目を持ってるんだ死者が歩いてれば眼鏡をつけていても異常だって気がつくし分かったわうん四季がそう言うならここに異常はないかもしれないないかもしれないじゃなくてないんだって実際<笑> The look on Arikwit's face makes it clear She's still not convinced やば昼休みになっちゃったか While the back of the gym isn't exactly a popular destination, there will still be one or two students passing by on their lunch break. とにかく、これ以上ここにいられると騒ぎになる。ちゃんと約束は守るから、お前は早く帰って体を休めておくこと。今日の夜にも、敵とやらに出会うかもしれないんだから。ふーん。なんだか私を追い出したいみたいな気持ちで。そんなにここにいられると迷惑Maybe a little bit. Hey, <laughs> Waku, Janaikero, Iroiro Atamaga Itain Dio. Kinitana Matatsgo no Itoki Annai Ste Arukara. Ima Hayak Soto ni Tetekre. I give Aunt Kuid a nudge on the back, showing her away. Oh, uh oh, oh. <laughs> She's not happy. Without saying a word, but with a look in her eyes that speaks volumes, Arikuit takes her leave. <sighs> with the tension broken, I can finally breathe easy again. Now that it's lunchtime, I'd better grab myself some nourishment in preparation for the rest of the afternoon. Hmm? Uh -huh. eh? I could I swear I just heard a faint noise come from the shadow at the far side of the bike parking. Acting as though I'm simply taking a casual stroll, I sidle over to the area that had been hidden from view by the bikes. What is it? Who's there? Sure enough, there was nobody lurking around by the dead end. It must have been a street cat or something. Huh. Hmm, sassy. I finish my lunch and return to the classroom, where I find Adihiko. There, were, there was no sign of him all morning, so it looks like he came to school simply to eat lunch. <laughs> it's, it's the afternoon, it's not, it's not the morning. <laughs> this guy really does only turn up when it suits him. Unbelievable. If word of Arikyo had spread throughout the entire school, it would definitely have driven a, a wedge between the two of us. I'm so glad that she decided to go home without making a fuss. I don't know, bro. 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 ついい本音を隠しきれなかった次から気をつけるよ、うんうん、マジっすかでも隠すべきは今の発言の方ですよ<笑>アリーコ keeps babbling on but he doesn't return to his seat instead he's restlessly eyeing up the exit at the back of the classroom now that he's at his lunch it seems he's seriously planning on sneaking back out again じゃ Ariko cheerfully goes to leave the classroom, addressing his retreating figure. No, Kitaguchi Ekimaga Busso that the Maini Tetakado. Soregani, Yabame no Tokurote Yeba, Dokoda. I love him a vague question. Nandai to Zeni. 
北口デパート並みにヤバめのスポットなんてそうそうねえぞ強いて言うならあれか串塚の廃病院じゃねえか2年前までヤンキーどもの集会場になってたものの今じゃ誰も寄りつかなくなったっていう串塚って二駅隣のか、うんうん、でも廃墟が物騒なのは当然というか普通誰も寄りつかないだろういやだからさ誰もいなくなくったんだよある日を境にぱったりとそのヤンキーどもの姿がな30人近い行方不明者ってことで、はあ、今でも捜索願いが出されてるまこっちは階段レベルの話で北口みたいな暴力沙汰じゃねえけどな今じゃ不老者も住みつかない行政の不良再建みたいな場所だよ、うんハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハうん、さて。There is no point in aimlessly wasting my time in the classroom. Now that school's over, I. Check the abandoned hospital. I don't think we should do that. What the. <laughs> Thirty people disappeared! I know. Um. Look, I'll save it, but like. I don't sound like a good idea. I should probably go home and prepare for tonight. Mm hmm. I'm curious about Ariko's story, but in the end, it's just an abandoned building that's a whole two stations away. It probably has nothing to do with the vampire that's lurking in Soya. It's not like I have the stamina to go there anyway. I'll just return to the mansion and prepare for the night ahead. Yeah, that too. If we tie ourselves too much and something happens tonight, that won't be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I return to the mansion. The sun hasn't set yet, and there's still time until Akiha returns. Akiha, it's a given that she'd be upset by my conduct. It's a given that she'd be upset by my conduct. I haven't really been acting responsible the whole time I've been back at the mansion. I like to think I could resolve everything by just explaining the situation to her, but there's no way she'd believe me if I started going on about vampires. For now, I'll just have to grit my teeth and play the part of the reprobate older brother. Wow. Hello. Tanaima, Hise. Wazaza, Demokaite, Krete, Arigato. Eh, to. Akiha, wa, mada, kaete, kite, nai. Hi. Konya, wa, tokubetsu, o sokunaru. Tono, koto, desu, no, de. Oh. Goyu, shok, wa, shiki, sama, wo, hitori, desu, maseri, yo. I see. That's a shame. I was hoping to at least have a chance to chat idly with her. I guess I'll just go back to my room and rest for the for a bit. Shiki-sama. Hmm? Oh, what? Hisui. After quickly glancing around the lobby, Hisui calls out to me once again. Hmm? Yes, yes, I will. So he gazes straight at me. She's clearly aware that I'm planning on sneaking out of the mansion, but I don't think I have any cause for concern there. I mean, she's already noticed that I'm not in my room every night. It's natural for her to assume that I'd be heading out tonight as well. What does worry me is why she asked that question. Even if she simply wants to know when I'll be back to fulfill her role as a servant, telling Hisui is basically the same thing as telling Akiha. This isn't a question that I should treat lightly. Oh uh, no, I'll I'll tell her the truth. Don't don't lie about that. <laughs> I'll tell her the truth. Hisui and Kohaku-san are in charge of managing the mansion. There's no way I'd be able to slip a lie past them, no matter how well crafted. 
Given that, I should at least be upfront about the fact that I will be away from home tonight. Ah. うん、実はこれから何日か夜は出かけることになる。でも仕方悪い遊びをしているわけじゃない。うん？秋葉には嫌われる一方だろうけど、途中でやめることはできないんだ。That's right. There is a mysterious vampire on the loose, claiming the lives of who knows how many victims. Gosh darn it, phone! What are you doing? Okay. And the only one who can stop them is Articuit. As a human being who lives in this city, I cannot look away and pretend that everything is okay. I don't trust the front door being unlocked. What, what if something ha- oh, I, mm, I guess they- No, mm. no if, if Articuit can get here, so can like some random person. I don't trust that. うん、うん。そうだ。ごめんな、ひすい。だらしないやつだと思って。今は何も聞かないでほしい。いえ。指揮様は私の主人です。おお。主人をだらしない方と下げ済む使用人はおりません。そう、アンサーズ、マッターオ
Ooh. It must be due to the serial killings. I didn't run into anyone on the on my way here. And the park is similarly devoid of human presence. There is only the solitary silhouette of a woman in white. Ski. Eh? What? But for whatever reason, Anakin shouts at me as soon as she sees my face. そう。もう何時だと思ってるのよ。え、10。約束の時間を10分も過ぎちゃってるじゃない。お。ブラ。10 こっちもなんとか10時に合わせたかったんだけど、こっそり出かけるのに思いのほか手間取ったんだ。お前が携帯を持ってたら。I would have been able to get in touch with her to let her know. But the thought of texting back and forth with the vampire strikes me as completely insane. いや、何でもない。次からはちゃんと時間を厳守する。うん。今回は多めに見てくれ。もう、これから殺し合いに行くのに。全然近くがないみたいね、あなたは。Arguid's pretty angry. You can almost see the steam coming out of her ears. Is it possible she actually got here way earlier than we'd agreed to meet? なあ、アルクエイド。ん何時からここで待ってたんだ私私は起きてからすぐここに来たから、やってきたのは7時ぐらいかな。What? You could have rested more. You could have rested more. What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Just what was she planning on doing after showing up? Three whole hours ahead of schedule. Mm. Arcuid muses out loud to herself. Seems like I'm not the only one surprised by her actions. まあ、遅れた俺も悪いけど、そっちにだって問題はあるぞ。うん。約束の時間より前に来て勝手に待たれても困る。もう、それとこれとは別問題でしょ。遅れてくれたってことは変わらないんだから。それはそうだけど、し
これ以上引っかき回されたらマジで部屋を犬小屋にされかねないふん秋葉って四季に全然似てない妹さんのこと<笑>似てないは余計だけどそうだよそうなんだ、うん、四季はそんなに妹さんが怖いのあのなどこの世界に妹を怖がる His little sister is the sentence I can't quite bring myself to finish. It's not like I'm particular, particularly afraid of Akiha, but I do find her a little difficult to deal with. Tony, Imoto Niwa, Yokena Simpayo Sasetakonai Takadayo. Mukashkara, Ait Niwa, Mewako Kakete Kitakara. The Kirudake Konomama. 何も知らないままでいてほしいなるほどあの妹さんには優しいのね四季は基本的に俺は誰にでも優しくしているよ最近になって例外が一人できちまっただけで<笑>それって私のことだイエスイエスアイエムわかんないやつだな<笑>今のは皮肉で言ったんだけど褒めたんじゃなくて悪口ってやつなそうなのでも私は四季の例外ってことでしょ私ねそういうの嫌いじゃないんだアルキュウッキューさん smiling It was a carefree smile like that of a child I feel strangely flushed It seems I'm running a temperature I think that if I stare at her much longer, it might draw out something sinister in me. So I pointedly avert my gaze. Hondai ni hairo, Arkeido. Kino to Najioni, Kuketsuki Sagashio Surundaro. To, so that to a ne. Konya wa Megane wa Hazanakte ikara. Watash no ato ni tsuite kite. Hmm? We strolled through the city's evening glow. Anakuin said she had a specific destination in mind, but hasn't let me in on the details. As a result, it feels more to me as though the two of us are simply taking a leisurely stroll together through the city streets. So saying, Anakuin turns us in the direction of, downtown, of the downtown area by the station. The city doesn't sleep, even though it's now past 10 o'clock. An array of various sounds and lights all line up to create an, ex an exhibit of civilization. Through that city, where, where fashion changes every few months, passes the vampire in white, her figure unchanged through the centuries. Well, perhaps centuries is a bit of an exaggeration. I just remember hearing that vampires are immortal and and live more or less forever. So it felt like an appropriate word somehow. Shiki, look at that building. Do you see the six floors? Do you see the six floors? Do you see the six floors? It's normal. I don't have to do that. It's okay. Let's go next. Okay, put a mask on. The road is long, so don't worry about it. Hmm? Arkewood had mentioned this afternoon that she'd made some educated guesses about where the dead might be patrolling. It turned out that she'd found six places in total. The first two were misses, but the third, a rental building, was a hit. The security guard going in and out of one of the vacant tenant rooms was a cluster of lines of death. The look on my face told Arkewood everything she needed to know. She entered the room, leaving me in, in the corridor, and came back out again a minute later. Unruffled. Sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm Although it was faint, I could sense a hint of, a hint of disappointment from Arkewood, and she shrugged her shoulders. What are you doing? Are you happy with me? No, it's different. 
いつも気楽なお前でも気を落とすことがあるんだなってそれどういう意味私だって人並みに壊したり潰したりしますよーだ I would have preferred it if she'd said she can feel sad and troubled just like anyone else instead but since that's probably a tall order for her I just keep my mouth shut We sneak out of the rental building and head towards our next destination. The time is close to midnight. As one would expect, there aren't as many pedestrians about, and the lit neon lights are also becoming fewer and farther between. The brake lights of passing cars. Matakui dances down the street like she's trying to catch up to them. After striking out a fifth time, we head towards our final destination. It appears to be in the residential district. Adequate doesn't say it, but I could somehow tell that this one. It, this one was going to be the real deal. ま、町のどこかにある親元の棺を探し当てるんだから、そう簡単には終わらないわ。そっか、ならいい。って別に嫌がってるわけじゃないぞ。単に歩くエドも大変だなって思っただけで。私は別に大変じゃないよ。決められ
You are something that shouldn't even exist. Those obvious conclusions that I've, that I've lived with for the past seven years, they all seem to fade away when I'm with her. I guess so. あのな、おっかない吸血鬼と一緒なんだぞ。災難極まってるだろう。気が楽ってえ、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、え、
無理やり開けると警報が鳴るでしょ。That's true. She does have a point. Now that the time has come to act, Arcade is totally level headed. She is a garage in the Rigu Chinite. Coco Gasnara, Nakani, a Jutai Chikai and the Toga Iruhatsu. I take a Itai Dakanara Shikino Hoga, Tsioikedo, Nita Ijo in Naruto Furida Shokara. Betsni Orewa Sokomode. Ma Ika Wakata Kirzo. I sever the lines on the shutter. Oh. With a crashing sound, the iron, fall the iron door falls onto the concrete floor. I peer through the hole cut into the shutter in、uh, cut in the shutter into the inky blackness beyond. Hmm. Eh? Uh oh, stinky. A repulsive odor. The smell of rotting flesh pervades the inside of the garage, and the air is heavy with the scent of blood. Eh! Uh oh. A group forms, each member a squirming mass of lines. He must have noticed that they had visitors as soon as I cut through the shutter. In total, there are twenty two of them. With that many dead around, there's no doubt that this place is there. Sire's stronghold. Arcade, your soul, your Kazga, oi. Kokoga Nejiro Nandaro. Nara Yapari Oremo. Kokoa Nejiro Janaiwa. Tada no Shokodoyo. Oh, Daijov. Okita Bakari no Fushinate, Mushimita in a monodashi. Shikiwa Soko de Matte. Okay. My brain just isn't built to keep up with the unexpected series of events unfolding before me. First, I'm for forced to bear witness to this gore clogged grave of, a, of a gar it, the garage. And now I'm watching a magnificent figure skating display. The combination doesn't exactly leave a good taste in my mouth. Countless, number of, countless numbers of dead wake up, then swoop down upon their visitors. They are torn apart by a single swing of her arm. The fangs swarm in. Dead flesh scatters in all directions, yet not one drop of that spray falls upon the figure in white whirling at its center. I've seen it time and time again at this point, but it's still enough to take my breath away. That's right. There was no way those corpses could put up a fight against her. Their abilities are. Bleh. Guys, Donnie. Their abilities are different. Their views are different. Their planes of existence are different. This is what it means to defeat someone with one hand tied behind your back. To be tru truly peerless. In Arcuid's eyes, vampires that merely suck blood probably look no different from us humans. They're simply prey. A headache courses through me. It's the price I pay for exposing my eyes, but I can't put my glasses back on just yet. Even though Arcu had said that she, she could take care of it all alone, there are still more than ten corpses remaining. At this pace, she'll wipe them out in less than a minute, but until her fight is over, I won't. It. Arcu is acting strange. The movements are becoming sluggish. She hasn't taken any, any hits at all. She hasn't even let the corpses get close enough from, for that. And yet. Each and every time she tears apart a corpse, her face seems to contort in agony. A sweeping wave of devastation. Before I know it, there is only one corpse remaining. There's no longer a need for excessive violence. She can settle this with a single swing of her arm. And yet, as though reaching a final violent crescendo, without showing even a speck of resistance or restraint, the white figure pulverizes the thing that was once human. Oh, okay.
It's over. At the heart of that bloodbath stands Adkuit, shoulders slumped, straining to catch her breath. That idiot. I don't know what's come over her, but she's wasted way too much energy. If she were acting normally, she'd have taken care of the would have taken care of them effortlessly, with only a tenth the violence. Out of cradle. I call out to her from the entrance to the garage. Ah, do Yeah, but you, 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 you being a show off. Don't waste that much energy, you silly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, understandable, understandable. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I breathe out a sigh. Jeez, give me a break already. To think that excessive violence was simply her trying to show off in front of me. I seriously don't know how to respond to that. Oh. Um. Wait, 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 what the fuck is this on the road? What? <gasps> what the fuck is that? <laughs> the cheerful atmosphere is cut short. My thoughts come to a screeching halt. My consciousness goes blank. The thing before me is so outlandish, I can't help but doubt my own eyes. How long has that been there? No. How long had I simply failed to notice it? The black panther that appeared in the back alley. The burning corpses. The dead masquerading as humans. I've seen all sorts of strange things these past couple of days. I went through all kinds of new experiences. They were all things with a basis in reality. Variations on entities that exist in the real world. An extension of things that we already know and, com and comprehend. But that thing is different. The air it gives off is different. The species it belongs to is different. The process through which it came into being is different. That creature is utterly alien. It shouldn't exist. Not in this city. Not even in Arcuit's world. It, what the fuck is this? It's it looks like it's pregnant. <laughs> that thing is the same shape as a human. It carries the same scent as the dead. However, it has renounced all trappings of humanity. It is not a member of Homo sapiens. I sense no sign of the room. The respiration critical for life. I can't spot any faculties that seem to respond to light. Yet my instincts can still understand. However vaguely that this creature's sole purpose is to prey on others. Even though I've never seen anything quite like this, I do know something that resembles it. A spider. Ew! That's why I don't like it. I, I fucking hate spiders. Ew! are still frozen in place. I can't remember how to use my throat. Yeah, don't zoom into its pregnant belly, what the fuck? With a grisly sound, the flesh of its abdomen peels away like a receding tide. Eeeh! Oh no, it's not releasing babies, okay, it's fine. <laughs> that unfolding flesh wasn't just the fat from its stomach, but something that solidified with what seemed like arms. The multitude of arms undul undulates eerily, like the tentacles of a cephalopod, and at their tips. <laughs> it's just it's just a demi gorgon. What the fuck? Oh my god! I cry out, sensing something is amiss. Atkut spins around. Oh god! One of the unwound tentacles lashes out like a whip. Aiming straight for the nape of Arcuit's neck. It happened in an instant, but it still wasn't fast enough to take Arcuit to my surprise. 
against the same closet where those dead to, sh to shreds, like scraps of paper. The fate of that vulgar whip of flesh is a foregone conclusion. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. <laughs> Except her air rendering claws weren't enough to sever that whip of flesh. But good's glancing blow just little to slow its advance. And it snakes around her white figure before sne- uh, uh, Before sinking its teeth into her back. <coughs> oh god. Oh fuck. <coughs> I hear the click of a trigger being pulled in my skull. A grotesque dead hiding in wait. Things like that can happen. The unanticipated hardness of its skin. Things like that can happen. Far more repugnant than the dead that came before. Things like that can happen. On top of that, conceited enough to think it can kill Articuit, it releases a second, then a third whip of flesh. That can't happen. sort of woman to be arrested by a monster like that. If only she... If only she hadn't done that. If only she hadn't been so reckless. Can't believe this. She, just, she sustained a new wound. She let herself be driven into a corner. Her breathing is ragged. Her movements are shaky. She just sat there and took a hit that even I would have been able to dodge. Oh no! That's not good. I'm so glad that I didn't put on my glasses. If I had, I might have smashed them to pieces in my fury. The grotesque looking dead leaps around in what seems like excitement. As it stands before the prey it would ordinarily never have been able to reach, a vulgar smile spreads across its face, extending all the way to its cheeks. With me, don't, do not fuck with me. It's mine, my responsibility, my duty. It's because of me. It's because I killed her, and she's fallen to the floor. And even though I killed her for no other, for no other reason than my own pleasure, and that woman forgave me. She forgave my failures as a human. I. Oh. I won't let these misshapen, misshapen moths get a taste of her. Whoa! I slice, lunging at its headlong, lun uh, lunging at it headlong like an animal. With no artistry in my movements, I simply sever it. Am I running towards it? Is it coming towards me? It doesn't matter. My legs will not falter. The second arm is unleashed, unlike the sweeping roundhouse swing that came before it. It's a tight fist thrown. It's a tight fist thrown such that from my perspective, it looks like a single point, a jab. In boxing terms, a technique that involves minimal movement, but exception, but exceptional, but exceptional speed. It may lack power, but it moves faster than a human eye can follow. And by extension, faster than the body can dodge. No problem at all. If I can't dodge it, then I'll just have to tear it apart as it comes at me. I chase after the fleeting back. The red lines of death go haywire as they're disconnected. I don't even have to think as I fish eff efficiently sever each successive line. The creature was doing its best to defend itself, but its left leg is now on the verge of death. The only thing left to worry about is its bite, but I've already reached the place where I needed to be. It pierced the rumbling's point, located to the upper right of its navel. Huh. I did not hear any screams of agony as it died. Like a mechanical doll whose batteries had been removed, 
The grotesque dead seized all movement and passed away. Oh. After finishing the job, I was finally able to breathe again. The surroundings are scattered with fragments of rotten flesh. The dead that I took down has already turned to ash. It doesn't look like anything happened to the dead that Articu had killed. I guess the grotesque-looking one was a special case. <gasps> but I killed it. It may have had a surreal appearance, but I took its life without hesitation. <gasps> I can't think clearly. That was nothing but mindless violence just now. I did not take any, sen any of Sensei's lessons into consideration. I simply let my emotions run wild, even though I knew I shouldn't have. I acted like the killer that I have always feared. Can't believe he coomed. No! <laughs> hello, Alula. Welcome, welcome. We just killed a spider vampire ugly motherfucker. Mm-hmm. But yes, welcome. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> Regret. Self-condemnation. -condem loathing. Disappointment. Once I calm down, I will surely be wrecked by these emotions. But that's okay. I can live with that. I pick that over Articuid getting hurt any day. Just now, for the first time ever. I used my power for the sake of a single woman, without hesitation, and keeping full control of my sanity, sanity as I did so. Yeah. Turning around, I see that Arcuid's shoulders are trembling, and her breathing is in disarray. I rush over to her. She's clutching at her chest like she's trying to hold back the pain, painting in, ag in anguish. Like an animal that can barely remember how to breathe. Atkut's <laughs> back is shaking heavily. This is awful. It can't be good for her to be sweating out of every pore like this. Thinking she might have sustained a wound on her chest, I stoop down to get a look at her face and... Eh? Eh? Why are you laughing? What? Eh? Oi. <laughs> oi, 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 eh? Eh? Oh, I got a kid. What? You, eh? Hmm? I'm so good. I think it's a little bit too much. Why are you laughing? This... <laughs> Is terrible. Not cute wasn't doubled over from the pain of her wounds. She was just holding her stomach to try and contain her laughter. <laughs> you sound so sad to kill a spider. No! Fuck the spider! That 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 sh that thing was ugly as fuck! But um uh, I mean what when the was being was was being beaten by it. What what happened? Hey. Oh, God. 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 She has me a funny joke on the Discord so you can laugh like her. You did? Okay, I'll. I'll one sec. <laughs> well, I'm not reading that out loud. Uh, <laughs> that's just playing dirty. I would still be at fault no matter what I say, so I have no choice but to stay quiet. 
俺が悪うございましたともさっきのバカ笑いはどうあれお前が無事でよかったよ、うんうん I retort with a hint of sarcasm. And then, as you can see, she's got that mysterious grin on her face again. It's a true story. <laughs> I, I didn't doubt it was. <laughs> My cheeks are burning. I try my best to turn my face away from her sudden surprise attack. What? What happened? What Seriously? You know... What a fi- it, What a flimsy attempt at playing it off. I keep my gaze turned away from Articuit. I try and hide my blushing cheeks with my hands, but doing so only makes them feel even hotter. And besides, what's with that face? So what is she thinking when she praises my skills as a murderer in a, gr in a grim situation like this? I wish she had a better grasp on, on the right time and place for that sort of thing. She takes femme fatale to a whole new level. Or am I the, the weird one for feeling this happy about it? If so, then I should settle down. I just need to collect myself. And let the flush from that surprise attack pass over me. よし。落ち着いた。で、これからどうしようか。ほら、ここが敵の本拠地じゃないにしても。な、え、そうね。人が来る前に調べてもいいかも。うんうん。え、what is you feeling Reibu or are you just about to pass out? You're well, that didn't work at all. The pounding of my chest hasn't ab abated in the slightest. My face is still flushed. I'm in a daze. Whatever Arkivit's saying goes right over my head. But I don't think there's anything I can do about it. There's not a man alive that could resist her charms when she says such things with that smile on her face. This feeling, this headache, this heaviness in my limbs, it's all because of Articuit. Snap out of it, Shiki! You, you, you're in a, you're in a place! You can't, you can't be feeling like this. What are you doing? Oh no, okay. Maybe, maybe you just have a fever. Never mind. <laughs> Shit. So what are you talking about? But... I'm still conscious. My thoughts are sluggish. My body's senses feel awfully distant. ここの調査はやめて休憩にしましょう。どうせ手がかりなんて残さないやつたち。今日は食堂を潰せただけで十分よ。これだけの働きありを失ったらしばらく活動はできないし、もう自分から外に出てくるしかなくなるわ。I we leave the gore smeared underground garage behind us. <sighs> I sit on a park bench and give my body a chance to recover. After about half an hour, the feeling has returned to my limbs. I wasn't aware of it at the time, but it seems like looking at the at the lines in that grotesque dead, really took a toll on me. Articuit is standing in front of the bench. Ever since she dragged me all the way back here, she's just been glaring at me. As you can see. That's true. 
あんな変種ぐらいなんとでもできたわそんなことよりあなたの体よ昨日の話ちゃんと覚えてる目を使いすぎるなって話だろ分かってる俺だって廃人にはなりたくない次からは気をつけるうんはあ鈍感にも程があるあなたに危機感を植え付けるのは難儀そうねま一番身近にして最高級の死に慣れているんだからそれも当然かほんとどうしてやろうかしら一度思いっきり怖がらせてあげましょうか怖い<笑>最高級の恐怖ならお前に追いかけられた時のでお腹いっぱいだよこの目が危険だってことも言われなくとも分かってるうん After all, I've had to live with them for the past seven years. さっきのだっていつもならめまいは起こさなかったあれは単に Actually, looking back on it, I didn't start feeling dizzy because I'd stared at the lines of dead for too long. Because I couldn't stop thinking about Arcuit. Tanni, Nani? Tanni, Arcuzukushi de Tskarete da Dakeda. Omae wa heki da roke do. Ningen wa Tskarerun da yo. Nijika Arcuit panas da to. Sore nara ike do. Shiki te tamani, Jibun o Kyakan shi shisugi te nai. その魔眼のせいで自分嫌いになってるとかいや,いや自分が嫌いになれたら目のことで悩んだりはしないだろう言っておくけど俺は自分のことも周りのこともやけになってみたことは一度もないよ、うんうん、そうなんだちょっと意外<笑> of course I haven't I take that fact as a point of pride A source of strength. Someone once told me that even a person like me has a, has a purpose. If that's the case, then I don't want to. Then I don't want to lose myself to despair before the time comes to fulfill it. It isn't much as convictions go, but it's that pride which has carried me this far. So I believe. Anyway. No, no, we w a Carry me this far, so I believe. Anyway. So, I believe. So, I believe. ラガンでいるといろいろと不都合があるけど食欲が薄れるのは手間が省けて楽だよもともと消食だから相性はいいと思う Let me just give myself anemia and not feel like eating No, she can't What are you Stupid What are you talking about? It's not an advantage マガンによる食欲の減少と持って生まれた消化機能の関係は私にはわからないけどああいやごめん、okay. 今のは冗談というか本気で取られると恥ずかしいというかですね<笑>真面目な話よあなたの目は後天的なものと言っていたけどそれは現れるのが遅かっただけの話かもしれない現れるのが遅かっただけええ<笑>超能力は突然変異体だけどそれにだって誕生する土壌が必要なの四季のような目を持つ先祖はいなかったとしても、似通った目を持った親はいたかもしれない。Boys be boys? Boys wanna eat food! <笑> I, 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 I don't know. What are, you, what are you talking about? Food delicious. Steak? Epic. Spaghetti? Puggers. <笑>魔術師は知識と身体回路を子供に移植するけどあなたのような異能は後輩による遺伝子だけで伝わっていって覚醒遺伝として現れる場合が多いから。というよりあなたの一族全体の話ね家計の中であなただけ特別。という考え方の方が不自然よ、うんうん、あなたに異能があるのならあなたの家系すべてが特別と考えるべき I couldn't help but laugh at such a ridiculous supposition Is she suggesting that it's genetic? 
that all members of the Tono family, uh, Maki, Hisa, and Akiha, have, the, have these eyes? I can say for a fact that isn't the case. The only strange one in our family is me. Besides, if I hadn't gotten involved in, in that accident, my eyes never would have ended up like this. They aren't hereditary at all. They're just a complication. Hmm? Oh. Oh? 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 あなたにとって嫌な話をしたと思うんだけど。嫌な話じゃなかったよ。全部俺の体を気遣ってくれてのことだったからさ。今日の学校での事前調査だって、俺に無理させたくなかったんだろう。お前だって昼間は辛いの
体まだ回復してないんじゃないのかそうねちょっと無理しすぎたみたいだから私帰るねあああ、うん、まあどうせ今夜はこれでおしまいだって言ってたけどうんまた明日ここで待ってるうーんいたしまんの<笑>バイバイ I don't even have a chance at stopping her let alone chasing after her Without even looking me in the eye, she kicks off and launches herself into the expanse of sky above. Like a rabbit hopping on the surface of the moon. Wow. Huh. Hmm. They climb all the way up the hill from a residential area and finally arrive at the outskirts of the mansion. It's just after two o'clock in the morning. I'm struggling to keep my eyes open at this point. <sighs> the way Arkyud was behaving back when she wait, when we parted has me a little wor What the fuck is this? Wait a minute, has you look no 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 <laughs> Where the fuck did this person appear from? Oh no no no, I see a thing in the... No. I get the feeling it wasn't just because her wound was acting up or that she was tired, but... Bro, what is that? What was that? There in the space between two street lights, in that pool of darkness, the light can't quite reach, stands a figure. <laughs> The first thing I felt was fear. It was such a surreal sight that it made my heart seize in my chest. But unfortunately for it, I have recently built up quite a tolerance against the fantastical. It's one of those jump scare pages. I mean, he came out of nowhere. <laughs> my heart quietly starts beating again, and I surreptitiously sur grasp my knife in, in my right hand. What the fuck is that? Eh? I feel my circulation switch into overdrive. Am I hallucinating? That's clearly a human being. I simply can't make them out properly, that's all. Their silhouette just looks a little off. They're getting closer and closer. Tap, tap, a tap. I hear their rasping footsteps. They stare at me with their own. With their one open bloodshot eye. That don't look like a human, bro. I unleash the blade of my knife. I put a hand on my glasses. I feel a chill slowly creep down my spine. With one more step, the figure will pass the point of no return. Suddenly, with a click, the street lights all go out. What? What? No! 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 Even though the moon is definitely out tonight, the world is suddenly plunged into darkness. Thump. I feel my heart reverberate in my chest. As though it were sounding my death knell. A steel blade hones in on the line running down my upper right left arm. Conscious thought. Conscious thought will. Conscious thought will have to take a back seat for now. Now that little baby vampire, I'm here. Don't be afraid. What do you mean? This is intense shit. Before the blade scything through the darkness could connect. I swung my knife up from below and deflect the tip of the blade, staving off the attack. Wait, what? Eh? It was attacking me, what the fuck? The shadowy figure's lips curl. If I were to think about it, I'd understand that they're smiling. But first, I must intercept every strike of that deadly weapon. What the f- That's not a vampire. 
Who is this? What? I'm surprised. Sure, but my thoughts are calm. It doesn't feel like a single second has passed since the moment I saw this figure. My thoughts stopped. Time froze. The fact that I'm being attacked this very moment doesn't even register to as noteworthy. Sparks, sparks fly as the two deadly weapons clash in the dark. A darkness so profound we each can't make out the appearance of the other. And yet, even in the midst of that darkness... Who the hell are you? The bonds of life shine ever, ever so clearly. accurately predict and parry each swing of the blade with my knife. But there's one thing that does seem noteworthy. Despite the darkness, despite the relentless onslaught of that deadly weapon, this body of mine is able to stop each and every strike. Maybe their moves are just that easy to read. That's a possibility. No, that's not it. My arm is simply zeroing in on the lines and points that I can see with my bare eyes. They are the only things I can see, so I'm just swinging my blade at them as fast as I can. My head... My head hurts. My thoughts glow white hot. My chest twists in pain. My head hurts. The old wound in my chest is burning. My eyes feel like they're about to fall out of their... I... Fall out of their sockets. But I've experienced all this before. Something just like this definitely happened long ago. It was... Ah... Uh, that's right. The bloodstained corpse of a child. <sighs> and the bloodstained crying face of Akia. The bloodstains... on my own two hands. the impact of the knife clashing against knife. My instincts take over and I knock the blades the blade aside. I was close. I let my mind drift for a moment there. Who the fuck? But I won't make the same mistake twice. That's because I know what he's aiming for now. Now that I do, I don't even need to think. I can cut them off on instinct. How do I know? simple. Every attack of theirs has targeted one of the lines on my body. As such, I don't need to try and predict where they're going to strike next. I just need to keep up my guard, keep distance between us and prevent them from taking aim at my most vulnerable lines. As soon as I realized that my strategy was based around that fact... Someone else with the... what? I finally understood that this somebody can see the same things I do. <gasps> this figure's laugh echoes through the darkness. They stare at me with those bloodshot eyes, sneering at me for taking so long to realize. My heart pumps faster still. My lips curl upwards as an indescribable <clears throat> mixture of ecstasy and fear brews within me. I see. In that case, we're even. Getting cunt would mean instant death for me as well. Not that it matters. I even think that... I even think that now. I'll die no matter where I'm cut. But I would... But I wouldn't be standing here now if I were craven enough to run from something like that. I mean... Rudolf was really something. With those cold waves of his, this person is nothing compared to that vampire. That's right. Even if by some chance you're the one Articuit is after. Under these conditions, I'm definitely better than you. Bruh. Attack. Attack. It I'm the one on the offensive now. This person is doing all they can to fend me off. In other words, I'm not the one with my back to the wall. But they are. Mine. I don't know who they are. I don't know where they're from, but I'm sure of it. Right now, I'm the one who's in control. I feel goosebumps. My overwhelming adv advantage is exhilarating. I can win. I'm stronger than this person. I'm stronger than them. That's why, if they were about to kill me, 
I should just kill them right back. Oh! I strike the weapon, sending it flying. I take a, a step forward. The lion I must cut is right there on their chest. Defenseless, I thrust my blade forward like a fang. Uh, but it's strange. Why in a situation like this does my hand not, not hesitate to swing this deadly weapon? Who is this? As if in response to the return of the streetlights, my once fervid thoughts abruptly return to normal. There is no one in front of me. The figure that I was trying to kill just a moment ago was pierced in the stomach by a long, thin object and sent flying towards the wall around the mansion. I can't follow what just happened. The figure that attacked me Yes, it was a man. His body was skewered by a pipe-like object that flew in, fr in from the side. He must have been hurled all the way to the wall by the impact. If he's human, that blow will have been fatal. But it's abundantly clear that this man is anything but. Gemma. Oh. Eh? A hoarse voice. Who is it? Wheezing heavily. The man with the skewer stuck through his stomach glares up into space. Keeping a safe distance, I follow his gaze. There. <laughs> a familiar figure is standing on top of the streetlight. That's my teacher! What the fuck? Noeru. <laughs> She's dressed like a priest from overseas. In her right hand, she carries a thin blade. With her left, grasps an enormous spear that sticks out like a sore thumb. A hoarse voice. No, 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 no not, not horse. Horse, you know. <laughs> the voice I'm starting to get because I'm running out of water. <clears throat> I know that shape. No, a part of me remembers seeing something like that, like it before. Back during the flight with Flof. That blade was the one that saved me from those blocks of ice. I understand that fact without re really being aware of it. Our eyes meet. The woman standing on top of the street light smiles at me and then... <laughs> what are you doing?! <laughs> she hurls several, several of the thin blades in her hand at the shadow- Oh. Oh. I thought you were throwing them at me! Shadowy figure. Save you. I... <laughs> At those words, a light rises from the ground. The hum of a blade slicing through the air. She raises her massive, massive spear at the ready. and leaps off the streetlight, aiming straight at the man below. The man screams as he is cut in, ha in half. The shadowy thing that clung to him is swept away by Noel's giant spear. Just like the grotesque dead from the parking lot, the figure melts away, together with the shadow. It Through it all, the man continued to glare st straight at me. His bloodshot eyes were filled with nothing but killing intent. It was as though those black pupils were what were weapons, and Tonoshiki is the sole object of their ire. I could do nothing but stand there in blank amazement. The man and the shadow that clung to him have disappeared. Not a single trace remains. They were simply wiped clean off the face of the earth. Whoa. Dang, teacher. The cry of insects, the rustle of the wind, the rightful sounds of the night <laughs> reassert themselves. Even after that sinister scream, the surroundings sink back into the darkness of the night as if nothing had ever happened. 
except for the distinctly out of place person now standing in front of me. Hello. この辺りは物騒なのね。うん。ちょっと散歩していたら、吸血鬼みたいな化け物が可愛いお教え子に襲いかかっているんだもの。Yes。それとも、あなたの周りが特別なのかしら。どうの、シキ君。Um、no。The woman in the nun's outfit turns around. Without concealing her overflowing hatred and clear desire to see me dead, she smiles at me. There's no doubt about it. This person is the same Noel that recently started teaching at our school. Noel Sensei, te, iin desu ka? So ne, Sensei te hibiki wa waruku nai kedo, koko wa gakkou no sato nanda shi. Sensei wa hazushita hou ga nani ka to kigaraku yo ne, otagai ni. I hear the sharp echo of her footsteps. Noel advances on me. The smile still on her face, that dreadful spear still in hand. She begins to close the distance between us. I... Oh god. Uh, oh fuck. Um, shit. Uh, um, um, um. <laughs> um. Stay cautious but alert. Wait, what? The moment I take a defensive posture, Noel kicks off from the ground. My knife's range is no match for her spears. Before I even have a chance to react, the pommel of her spear slams into my side. What? What are you doing? What did I do? It hits me, it hits me with such force that my vision whites out. I feel myself get thrown almost a meter. I hold back the pain and shift myself to, to take the fall safely. I hit the asphalt back first, but managed to soften the, the impact with a roll. However, Noel is already right in front of me again. Maybe. <laughs> I go to lift myself up with my hands when... It all drives one of her heavy boots into my chest. What <laughs> I just lie there on the floor, glaring at Noel. I can't wrap my head around this situation at all. But even so, her thirst for blood is no joke. And it's clear that I'm the one she... It? She has in her crosshairs. The pressure on my chest increases. This... reactions... She seems legitimately angry that I called her a vampire. Noelle removes the foot she had planted on my chest. Now that I'm free, I stand up and catch my breath. Incidentally, my body is in immense pain, but it seems that I've escaped with nothing more than some gnarly bruises. You... You just beat me up! <laughs> what? What? I take the glasses from the well and put them on. Now then, just what am I supposed to make of this situation? She grins sheepishly, as if to say, Oops, silly me. This is a lot to take in. 
ん何そのノーリアクション私たちのことあの吸血鬼に聞いてないのえ、おい聞いてないのねあっそう私みたいなザクは眼中にないってわけまあいいけど私も話題になんかされたくないしうんいいわパパッとレクチャーしてあげる簡単に言うと私は町を守る正義のお姉さんみたいなあのクソ吸血鬼どもから人間社会を守る影の組織とかかっこよくない I, I, I guess you're doing a pretty bad job at it though <laughs> if I have to go around doing things doing this what 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 the world chuckles as she speaks making it difficult to discern how serious she really is Quality of her explanation aside, what she's talking ab about does ring a bell. Kyokai no daiko sha te yats desu ka? Eh, so no daiko sha. Shiki kun wa mushin ron sha desho? Da kara jikkan wa wakanai daro kedo, watash tachi kyokai wa shu no mina no moto, hito no yuki ito nami o mamoru ishi ga aru. Da to e sore ga kon na mappo no kuni demo ne? ある日突然転任してきた魅惑の美人教師はその実教会から派遣された正義のエクソシストだったってこと An exorcist. I think that means someone who purges demons. Leaving aside whether vampires are demons or not, it doesn't seem like she's lying. わかりましたいきなりのことで信じられませんけど信じますどうあれこれで二度目ですしん危ないところを助けてくれてありがとうございます二度目ああそういうことでもまあ今回は違うわたまたま危ないところに出くわしたんじゃなくて私最初から君を狙っていたんだし最初から俺を狙っていたそう君が屋敷を出た時からずっと尾行していたの私のお仕事は吸血鬼の殲滅だものその吸血鬼に従っている人間がいれば監視するのが当たり前でしょ Her logic certainly makes sense but she's basing it on a flawed premise It's not like I'm blindly following her orders but besides Ankuit is a good vampire She's going after other vampires in order to protect the city just like Noah あのそれは本当なら真っ先に吸血鬼の方から殺してるんだけど相手はあの怪物でしょ私一人じゃ帰り討ちだし師匠は上司に飛ばされちゃったし仕方なく小さい方の獲物に網を張ってたわけ小さい獲物ってのは俺のことですかええあの怪物が狂犬ならシキ君はプリッとしたエビちゃんね吸血鬼にしろ私たちにしろ美味しい獲物なのは間違いなしでもなんか様子が変だったここ数日君を監視していたけど無理やり従わされてる雰囲気じゃないし血も吸われてないでしょねえ四季君あなたなんであんな怪物と一緒にいるの I frown and bite my tongue. It wasn't that I was intimidated by her question. So much as that something about it rubbed me the wrong way. Oh, yeah, damn, Mari. Kimi wa kyu ketsuki no nakama ni naritai no kana. Deban da kedo, eiyen no inochi ga hoshii to ka? No. I cock my head to the side at the, at the mention of eternal life. Something like that hadn't even crossed my mind. I see. Maybe it would be more natural to think along those lines. Yeah. Demo. I can't see Arkwood going after some, something like that. I mean, she doesn't even suck blood. If she won't do it to create new allies or obtain powers beyond those that humans are capable of, I can't think of anything that might persuade her to. I don't square myself up this time. But my eyes are full of challenge. 
I have no intention of fighting this person. But even so, I make it clear that I will not work any more badmouthing of myself and arguate. So, if you were killed, you would have to be able to kill you with your hands. But you would have to be able to kill your hands. What? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Noel turns her back and walks away. Her attitude is unforgiving, but it seems like her hostility has died down. No, maybe she simply lost interest after hearing my response. Ah, but I'm a Jewkoku. I said you were looking at me at the beginning. What? もっと深い意味なのこの町に救った人は数年以上前から根付いているわうん私の師匠の言うことには審査のように昨日今日やってきたわけじゃないんだとか吸血鬼は外から来るものばかりじゃない案外身近なところにいて何十年も前から潜伏しているケースのが多いのそれも町で一番力のある権力者の家にとかねわかる自分たちの町を守るとか言っていたけど、うんうん、そんな曖昧なくくりじゃなくて君は自分の身を守った方がいいってことそれはどういうだってそうでしょさっきの不死は君を狙ってきたんですもの吸血鬼を殺して回る真相じゃなくてただの人間である君をね<笑>命があったらまた会いましょう当の指揮くん、oh. And with that the woman in the nuns the nuns habit saunters away As she leaves she casts her eyes over the street lights and says Right Time to up the cool factor by flying away Ah, oh, but I can't I can't jump that high without a run-up now, can I? If I could, I wouldn't be human now, would I? Mildly announcing her thoughts for me to hear, she descends the hill with her massive spear still in hand. I mutter to myself, dumbfounded. Maybe I shouldn't have... Maybe I shouldn't have. As all of the strength then drains from my knees, and I fall back against the wall with a thud. I knew that working alongside Arkad would mean putting myself in danger sooner or later. But this... This feels different. I don't know what the reason is, but I have a feeling that it's not related. <laughs> As the tension fades, my dizziness returns with a vengeance. Leaning against the wall for support, I begin walking towards the main gate. My chest hurts. I need to get back to my room before either I pass out or my body collapses out from under me. I can think about the difficult things later. However, the main gate was surprisingly far. I feel the comfort of my, my headache fading. And the disquieting sensation of my body going limp. With my back against the wall, I looked on as I slowly but surely drift off to sleep. Shouldn't sleep out here. It's danger. That no, that's really dangerous. <laughs> what? Death. White. Okay, we end it there. <laughs> I don't. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay. Now we'll continue next. Next, uh, next stream. We'll end, end it off with this, uh, this cliffhanger. What the fuck? <laughs>
<laughs> Bruh. Okay, okay. Thank you all for coming. Hope you all had a wonderful time. Uh, if it is night, hope you have a wonderful night. If it is morning, you have a brilliant morning. I've been your host, Julie Sam Bloverheaton, and we've been enjoying some Tsuki. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Uh... In regards to the next stream, probably be on Wednesday. Probably won't be Tsukihime. I will find something else. I'm hoping the one thing I ordered arrives. I, I really want to play a game, but I, they're, they're taking forever to deliver it. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. But yes, hope you all had a wonderful time. And uh, let's see if. Uh, let's see, let's see. No, there's no one. Okay, it's fine. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's everything. So, yeah, goodbye. Wow, Bubba Booey, Arcu, and Chungus. Oh, I gotta see if someone's made Arcu into Big Chungus. What the fuck? I'm gonna I'm I'm check it while the end screen's on. Big Chungus, Arcu. No, I don't want big chunks in fake granddaughter. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, no one's made. Wait. No one's done it. Damn it. Okay. Bye bye.